I am one of the Beach Boss influencers. And the Beach Boss influencers, we help entrepreneurs make more by working less time, leveraging systems and processes. So stick around. The beaches, that's what we like to call ourselves. We're authors, speakers, trainers, and coaches to home business owners all across the world. We help some systems and processes to really make recruiting, uh, selling product, building teams, you know, generating leads, those things a lot more simple. And this is something that I get all the time. I don't know how many times I have been sent a message from somebody that I haven't talked to in 10, 15 years. And it immediately starts with like, hey girl, I got started in something. I immediately thought of you, right? And it's like, I'm not sure if you're trying to actually rekindle friendship or trying to get me into a pyramid scheme. I love this. Obviously, I don't think network marketing is a pyramid scheme. I love the industry. I don't care about you and him I don't care about what has been I only care about your soft skin Cause we're still sleeping in my head I don't care about you and him I don't care about what has been I only care about your soft skin Hey, hello, I'm Julie Jo. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so glad that you're here. If you're not new here, welcome back. But I have a little fun surprise for you all and I'm very excited for it. There was something I was going to mention. Oh, Liquid IV. If you don't know, I'm an affiliate with them. They actually are coming out with a new flavor, which is wild to me. I didn't know that was happening. It's going to be here March 15th. And if you know me at all, like on Instagram, you know that I don't try new things. <laughs> That sounds bad, but like when it comes to a drink that I like, I will drink that drink for years and not try something else. But Liquid Ivy sent me a new flavor for my birthday and I actually loved it more than the one I already loved before. So I am actually kind of excited for this new flavor. I don't know what it is. I don't, but um, get ready. And if you want to try Liquid Ivy or you like it and you want to use a discount code for 20% off or you just want to support me, whatever it is that you want to do, it's in my description. Now let's talk about the surprise I have for you all. I have a question to ask you, okay? I, we're gonna watch a little something and I, I wanna know if you've seen this before. Because I've seen it so much and I've heard people tell me they've seen it so much. Just, have you seen this video? If you're a network marketer, stop posting about your products and opportunities all over social media. Stop sending spammy join my team messages to strangers and stop begging your friends and family to join your team. I get it, you are a network marketer and you want to grow your team and get more customers. You might be doing everything your upline tells you to do. You're not seeing any growth. Plus I'm not gonna play the whole thing because it's literally over two minutes long, but I joined their little beach boss thing. I know, I joined their little program. It was 13 bucks. Well, like the cheapest one was 13 bucks. I paid it, I paid it. And today, since I paid for it, I get to bring to you what they are teaching people in this beach boss thing. I am so excited. I did a members only video last night and we watched the intro together. So at the beginning, that like little intro thing was parts of the introduction to the entire course that I'm taking. And we're gonna watch the step one video today together. And I'm thinking that we could just go, I think we could do a fun little series with this, right? So today is step one. And I'm very pumped for us to watch it together, but this is something I've wanted to do. I wanted to take an MLM boss babe course before, and we're all going to do it together. And you get to do it with me. So without further ado, let's get started. If you haven't seen that little thing I showed you at the beginning, not the very beginning, but the one that's like the ad, I'm sure you're gonna see it now. I am currently doing the Social Recruiting Secrets 2.0 course. $13, it says Introduction to Social Recruiting Secrets 2.0. Step one, how to never run out of prospects. That is the video we're going to be watching today. There is a little worksheet, which we can look through, and I think she goes through it a bit. And honestly, it's everything you want and more. I've seen this. I just sped it up really quickly and listened to it because it's 37 minutes and I will speed it up for us. However, I'm not going to speed it up as quickly as I did for myself. Don't forget to leave your commentary below. If you want to do your own little worksheet, you can. Have fun with this, you know? That's what we're here to do. I am bringing the entertainment and the education all in one today. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe and hit the bell if you want to get notified when I post. Let's get started on this video. Hey and welcome to the 10 Proven Ways to get more sales and team members and crush your business in 2022. My name is Brandi Shaver and I am so excited 
that you are here because we are going to teach you some incredible things. Today, we're actually talking about the number one formula to uncover a pool of prospects for you that are ready to buy and to join your team. And so if you are ready, let me know in the comments below because I am pumped up to do this training for you. Remember that they title this entire thing, Social Recruiting Secrets 2.0, okay? That's their tagline for it, Social Recruiting Secrets. Uh -huh. We've been preparing this for a little bit and I'm super excited about it. So have you ever, we're gonna just dive right in, okay? so. This is the first part of this training, and uh, today's more of a foundational day because uh, we want to really frame the way we do things for you so that you can understand and implement into your own business. And so um, I'm excited about this, so let's get started, all right? So first off, one of the things that we are taught is that uh, when something is new and different, right, it's uh, kind of taboo, right? And this is this is kind of the way the world the world has taught us to be. And I want to, I want to just challenge you for a second, because we're going to teach you some things here that you may not understand or that might be new to you. Right. And during this training, you're going to be challenged. We're going to challenge you to put away, um, the, the average way of doing things of building your business. And we're going to challenge you to trust the process. And it's going to feel a little bit uncomfortable. Have you ever done? Okay. So apparently they're saying that this is the new way to do things that this should be kind of new. This isn't the average way. It's the quote unquote secrets. So let's remember that as we go into this and see what their secrets are. Anything where it feels a little bit uncomfortable in your life. I don't know. Does this, is this really what I need to be doing? You might feel a little bit overwhelmed and stuck, and this is absolutely normal. And this is going to be for this specific piece first, because this is where you have to do most of the work to get the results. And I'm just going to be honest. It's not that much fun unless you are more of a research type person. I am a person that I just want to get to the meat and potatoes, right? And I just want to go, go, go. I want to see results. I want to get the things and do the things, right? And sometimes, in fact, 98% of people will skip this step. And that's the reason that they're not getting results, okay? So I wonder where she got that uh, number from. 98% Brandy? I want to see the statistics. Where are the sources? Of course, they have zero sources in here. It's apparently all from their noggin. When you learn something new, it's totally to be expected to feel a little bit uncomfortable and a little bit out of your comfort zone, right? And you're going to feel this way when you're growing. You might feel like you don't know what I'm saying or that you don't get it. And a lot of people, when they when they see this first part of this foundational piece of this training, they um, they wonder if it's just them. Like if they're like, wait, I don't get it or I don't understand or, you know, whatever. But the best thing about this is that you can come back and watch this again. OK, so it's something that you can watch again and again and again and again. And I'm going to ask you that if you don't understand it, to just do it again and again and again and again. I'm going to give you an example of this, OK, because it's super frustrating. My husband, he decided that he wanted to start trading in the Forex space. OK, now, first off, he's not a computer guy. OK, um, he's not necessarily a numbers guy. Right. He's a doer. So he likes to be busy with his hands. He's building things like um, his personality is really like to stay busy and get stuff done. And so when you start to learn something new, he's been super frustrated with this Forex thing, right? It's kind of like learning a new language. It's kind of like, you know, learning the lingo and how things work and, you know, just just all the things. It's a lot. Right. And the other day he's like, I mean, he's been doing it now part time, like very part time because he, you know, he works a full time job. He has other things he does. He's on search and rescue and that kind of thing. He's a dad. Right. Like all the kids things. And um, he said the other day, he's like, am I ever going to get this? Like, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't make sense to me or, you know, I, I don't, I don't, I still don't get this part or whatever. Right. And it's only been like three, maybe four months. It was probably maybe October ish that he started doing it. So I guess, I guess, you know, it's been, it's been a few months, but um, I said to him, you know, what is it, what is the reason that us as humans think that we can just pick something up, right. And just instantly know everything about it and just like understand all of it in our brain and it all clicks. And we just are like, I've got it right. Like, and just go to work. Right. That would be awesome. But that's not how it works. We think about somebody like my husband learning a whole new skill set that is outside of his comfort zone. That's how, you know, this might feel to you. Right. Especially if you've been doing, uh, you know, things a certain way in your business. Okay. So, so it seems like their whole family does this kind of, maybe not just MLM, but Forex trading, depending on what company he's doing with and how he's doing it gives me the vibe of MLM. So I want you right now, first off, to commit to play full out with me. So uh, let me know 
drop it in the group or wherever you're seeing this video to let me know if you are willing to play full out. Are you, are you willing to play full out? Let me know below, type in full out. Or like, I don't know, put some fun emoji, I don't know. I want you to type, we're all beaches. Right, because they say they're the beaches, like B-I-T-C-H, but like beach, B-E-A-C, okay, whatever. Type, we're all beaches, if you're full out. Or, or full out, or whatever, you know, whatever you want to type. But I need to know who's in it to win it. <laughs> because this is, I'm going to push you, okay? And it's because it's time to up your game, all right? In this new year, it's time to up your game, and I want to know if you're ready. So let me know in the comments if you're ready, okay? So... Here, what we, here's, here we go, all right? So building your business on social media is a process, okay? Now, it's going to attract people or repel people from you. And you're not going to get a lot of engagement on your posts or on your social media besides people in your company or maybe your mom or your sister that's trying to support you unless you adopt this way of doing things, okay? And if you're repelling people with your posts, then, you know, if you're not getting a ton of engagement, if you're not getting the results you're looking for in your business, um, you want to kind of like evaluate what, what is happening. All right. So these kind of posts used to work on social media and I'm just going to, I'm just going to like lay it out there. Right. It's not that they mess you like, you don't use them at all on social media, but remember when people just would put up amazing testimonials before and afters, um, you know, and that was all that was in it. Like that was, you know, it was just straight up, like, look at this transformation by my stuff. Okay. Discounts, uh, promotions and coupons, pictures of your products and how they could get it. All of this used to work. Okay. But we want to turn around our engagement. We want to bring it into the new way of doing things. Yeah, because social media caught on to you and the BS that y'all were promoting and it works, I'm looking at you. And literally like would probably started hiding you from the algorithm due to the BS that y'all were promoting. Like fat loss, metabolism booster supplements and uh, skinny teas. Has anyone tried it? I, I did do, um, I tried some It Works products one time and I did not like them. They were pills and they made me feel really sick. It was not fun. Uh, Y'all tried that? Because <laughs> I did. This year, okay? Because you want to attract people to you. And it's not going to be your products that actually attract them to you, okay? They can get your products anywhere. They can get the service anywhere. They can. It doesn't matter how amazing the products are and what kind of discount you offer. Um, it's not your company. It, you know, even though yours is probably amazing, right? It's It's not our leadership. It's not the system. It's not the great incentives that people, you know, that people are are attracted to and it's not the comp plan. Okay. So if it's not your company and it's not your products, what do you think is the attractor factor for people buying or joining your team? Okay. Let me know. Now, I'm just curious as to what you think it is. Um, because what has to be in place that would make people want to work with you or buy your products? Just think about that for a second, right? If I'm a brand new stranger to you and I walk up to your door, okay, I knock on your door Saturday morning, 10 a.m. I knock it on your door and I'm saying, hey, I've got this amazing product that, you know, does X, Y, and Z, and it's actually a problem that you probably have. What's the likelihood that you're going to buy it or even answer the door? Let me know. Okay. So what needs to be in place? Well, it's the no like, and trust. Okay. It's you. Now people join people. That's how this works. They join people and it's usually based around the no like, and trust. The attractive part that... That doesn't sound very secretive to me. I feel like I've heard that before. Have you? The no like and trust method sounds familiar. Draws people to you is why you do what you do, your mission, and it's not the one that your why that makes you cry, okay? Nobody cares about your why that makes you cry. Everybody's concerned about what it is that you can offer them, okay? And we get caught up in our whys, you know, why we're building this. That would be all about you, okay? The reason you are doing this, the why you're doing this, but it's got to be for them, all right? Because nobody cares about you. They never did. They only care about themselves. And that's just our culture. I'm not saying it to be mean, right? I'm not saying it to, you know, to like upset anyone. I'm just saying that it's not about you and it never was. Okay. When you're on social media, you want to have a presence that draws people in. Okay. So imagine for a second, when I come to your social media profiles, what's there for me to stay interested or to learn more about you or, you know, whatever, right? So this is going to be part of your homework. I want you to define your mission statement, okay? And this is the basics of influence marketing. What you're doing and why you're doing it and who you're doing it with. Okay, so what's my mission statement? 
I, I haven't planned it. I haven't written it down. But so if the mission statement has what you're doing, let's make up our own together, shall we? You make up your own, I'll make up my own. What you're doing. I am educating consumers. I am educating consumers online through social media. Why am I doing it? To help fill in the gaps that multi-level marketing companies and scams don't tell you so you can have better knowledge on what you could be getting yourself into and who I'm doing it with. Who am I doing it with? Well, I mean, I'm doing it by myself, but I collab with other people who believe that consumer protection is important. Now that's not a great mission statement, but it's right off the top of my head right here. And it kind of gives you a what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, who I'm doing it with. What's your mission statement? What do you do? Or you can tell me what MLMers mission statements are. That could be fun. That one could be fun. Your mission is about the people's lives you want to change. Okay, how can you help them? And what can you do for them? Okay, and what can you do with them? Okay, I want this journey to be with you, but what it is, it, what it is you're going to do, okay? So one of my mentors uh, taught me a long time ago, and it's stuck in my mind. It's been stuck in my mind forever, so I want to share that with you. If you close your eyes and you look at that fire that's burning in your chest, right? Like you started your business, you started as an entrepreneur for a reason. I want you to close your eyes and I want you to think about what might be that little nagging going on in your chest, okay? What's that feeling that keeps you going? What is it that, you know, that, that made you want to start this business? Um, what do you see? You know, if you, if you look into where you're at right now, even though you haven't had as much success as you probably want yet, right? What is that feeling? If you don't do this, you would read it for the rest of your life. Now, think of the highest thought you've ever had about yourself, right? Like the highest, highest thought you've ever had about yourself. For some people, this could be happening every day if you've done some work in this area. But for a lot of people, you're going to struggle because it'd be the last time you had the highest thought was maybe like when you were five years old. You could do anything when you were five years old. Do you remember you like pretended you could be superwoman? You pretended that you saved the world. Um, this might be the only time that you knew you were smart or good enough to do anything. Who is she talking to? I hope y'all didn't. I hope the last time you said something good about yourself wasn't when you were five. Go to the mirror right now. Go to the mirror. Take me with you if you can, or open your camera phone, look at yourself and say three good things about yourself right now. You do it. I'm serious. I'll wait. I'll wait. I'm waiting. Do it. All right. I hope you did it. And if you didn't, I wouldn't know because it's a video. Anyway, I am so sad for those that she's talking to. I to be completely fair, I mean, she probably knows she's talking to some vulnerable people who are struggling, who need help, and that's why they've come to her. In my opinion, an expert scammer to teach others how to scam better. I'm also taking notes if you haven't noticed because buckle up, it's gonna be a fun ride. Because you didn't question, right? Like you didn't question your, um, your pretend, you know, things. Like you just lived in that world and you knew, you knew in your gut that nothing could stop you that no one could stop you, right? And there's absolutely nothing in this world that can stop you from accomplishing your mission if you have nailed it down. So I want you to make your mission bigger than you are. Go as far as you can go, like think in your mind and make it scare the heck out of you, okay? that's Here's the deal though, when they're talking about mission and all these big fun fancy words that seem super important, in the scope of MLM, it means next to nothing because the majority of people don't make money. The, the Federal Trade Commission says 99% of people in MLMs don't make money. And a lot of people lose money. So them using these big fluffy words like your mission, and she's going to say plenty more of fluffy words like that, that sound pretty and that like seemed like they're wrapped up in like a nice pretty present to give to you to open. What's your mission? Oh, look at this. And it's actually like poop with a glitter poured all over it. But the poop looks pretty. That's kind of the idea of when it comes to my mind, what they're talking about. Here's something pretty that sounds nice. And then when you open it, you're like, ooh, that's so shiny. But you, you don't realize that it is poop. It's important to realize that with multi-level marketing companies, because I believe that a lot of things they do is kind of like a cult. There's gonna be lots of indoctrination and that's part of what this is. There's gonna be lots of false promises, big words that are beautiful and that sound amazing and stories that are unbelievable that are going to draw you in 
that is their goal. They want you to get drawn in by this stuff, feel like you can get to where they are and achieve what they're doing, while ultimately making a ton of money off of you and the people you bring in or the people that brought you in. And you are left with next to nothing. You're left with broken promises, dreams that feel so far out of reach, even further than before joining the MLM, and usually less money, often in debt. It's so sad, but it's true. And if that's something you experience, please let me know below. I, I wanna hear more, I wanna hear your story. I wanna know some of the things that you went through. I want people to see what this actually is. I wanna uncover the layers. I want people to see more behind the curtain. Because when you look behind the curtain, you tend to see what's actually going on and it just doesn't look as pretty as the performance that's put on. That's the first piece of this. Don't feel like who the heck is going to follow me, even though I don't have results yet. Okay, that's we're going to deal with that down the road here. But I want you to hold on to the highest thought and make it bigger than anything you've ever dreamed of. All right. So let me know if you're in and ready to pull, play full out, because this is just the beginning of what we're going to go over today. All right. I want you to post your mission statement in the group. Okay, whatever, wherever um, I want you to post it in the group. And I want you to do it with a selfie now. <laughs> post your mission statement down below in the comments. Could be her mission statement that you post. Could be an MLMer's mission statement. Could be your mission statement. And maybe this is just a good exercise for you to do. But I want to see them. I know a lot of y'all are really funny and, and good at this stuff. So I want to read it. I said selfie. Most of you just went, oh, I ain't doing that, right? Like, I don't, I don't want to post a selfie. Very few of us love taking selfies, okay? But I want you to do it anyway because it's part of a skill set that you need to grow your business online using social media. They need to see your face, okay? So this is the first step. I want you to post your mission in the group and take a selfie with it and post it, okay? So now it's time to get to work. So really quickly, I want to just go over this, this foundation piece because and I'm going to post a, a bonus video for you as well to go deeper, but we're going to, we're going to talk about this, right? So have you ever read a post or listened to a live and you felt, oh my gosh, she gets me or he gets me. She's talking directly to me. Like, it's like she's reading my mind, okay? Let me know if that's ever happened to you because when this happens... What do you think that person on the other side creating that post or that video, what did they do to make you feel that way? And what do they feel? And how would you learn? How would you like to learn how to do this? Would you like to learn how to do this? Let me know if you're ready to elevate because this is really how we attract so many people to us because we have learned the skill. Okay. So one of the quickest ways to get frustrated on um, social media, building your business, because you're busting your butt, you're building content, you're doing all those things, right? You're getting into messenger and you get nothing. There's like, it's like crickets. And you're like, where are all the people? They told me all the people were on social media. And so I'm going to share some secrets and some hacks with you. That's really going to help you um, get, get into this. All right. Now, especially the deepest part of this is going to be the bonus video that I'm going to give you because we're going to go over the basics and then I'm going to give you the other one. So you're going to have this video to watch the bonus video to do, and then your homework. Okay. I watched the bonus video. They do go more in depth and it's pretty intense. By intense, I don't mean like it's super intense and wild to watch. I mean, they talk about things like you need to know their pains, you need to know their wants, you need to know their desires. And she's going to talk a little bit more about that here too. I just think she kind of regurgitates what she's saying here with maybe a little more pizzazz in the bonus video. So, yeah. So you've, uh, you've also got your, your uh, avatar worksheet that uh, we gave you when you, you know, for this, this course. So you're going to want to uh, get that out and go through it, okay? So the first part of this video, I took you from not product, not company, to the attraction is you and your mission, okay? So that's the first piece. That's the first piece of your homework is to create your mission. Now, I don't want you to turn this off and go create your mission, right? I want you to watch the rest and then, you know, go through this. So this is about them. The people that you can serve and change lives with the products, um, you know, with your business, with your services, whatever, you know, with your coaching, whatever it is you're doing, okay? But it's, it's so important that we identify and bring into reality, almost like a 3D, like almost like you know your perfect prospect, okay? So I want you to think right now in your mind, who is your perfect prospect, okay? Now there's a saying in this industry, if you are not emotionally moved by the time we're done with these two videos, so you're gonna watch this one and then the bonus video that I'm gonna post right after this, um, you've not gone deep enough, okay? So I'm gonna pull up my, sorry, I didn't mean to bump that. I need my target market. Their goal is to always tap into your emotion because when they can tap into your emotion, that puts you in a more vulnerable state 
which makes you more susceptible to falling for the things that they're saying and thinking of them to be true. If you haven't watched videos where I go more in depth into these kind of tactics, my most recent one that was kind of long, sorry, is one of those. And then there are several more from this year, 2023, that I recommend maybe you go watch. Uh, avatar sheet. Okay. So first off, we have to decide who this person is. Okay. Your avatar is a person, a person that's represented um, of your, your ideal prospect or your customer for your business. And you might have a couple. Okay. So don't, I just want you to focus on one. So if you want to recruit, Okay. If you want to recruit, I want you to focus on um, the person that you want to recruit. Okay. So for instance, my perfect person that I want to recruit into my business is usually a female. Okay. She is um, anywhere between the age of like 35, usually to 60, depending on, you know, her kind of her technical background. Um, she's usually married, has kids. Okay. Um, professional, organized, right? All those things. So we're going to dive into that. But um, and there's um, emotions and everything that go with this. OK, so it's not just like it's not just a flat person. You know, here's this person that, that hits this thing. This is important because you have to know who your prospect or customer is that drives them in order to find them, in order to connect with them, in order to market to them and in order to serve them. OK, and creating a perfect prospect avatar will help you get down to the emotional and physical motivators such as discovering their deepest values, beliefs, fears, and desires. So here's the thing about this, okay? We as humans normally don't make decisions based on data. It's not how we function. We make decisions based on emotion. Okay, now let me know if that makes sense to you. Ultimately, your ability to relate to your market will be the biggest factor in how you communicate with your target prospects and will determine- Yeah, so she's actually teaching other people to emotionally manipulate people. It's pretty much what she's- doing and the fact is she's right she is right a lot of people do things based on their emotion once you can tap into someone's emotion you can manipulate them in a lot of different ways they won't even look at the income disclosure statement or the statistics of it or believe anything we say if you're good enough at manipulating their emotions determine if they want to do business with you or buy your products okay now, when we talk about a whole new pool of people, right, you might have been targeting everyone as your um, as your prospects for your business, your coaching or, you know, your products or opportunity. And here's the problem with that. When you speak to everyone, no one's listening. And I have a perfect example. How many of you are in a group messenger chat? Let me know. OK, uh, because when I have I have my entire team in my group messenger chat. OK, now here's what happens. I will post an update. I will post something, you know, um, one or two little things that, you know, maybe somebody needs to take care of and nobody takes ownership because it's a group message. They are not sure if it's for them or not. Have you ever? Maybe it's your lack of communication in the group chat. Good shake, baby. My little girl, my, my Luna girl, my dog just woke up from her nap. You can go back to sleep. Maybe the group message thing is because it's your lack of communicating as a leader who should do what. I don't know. That's just my thought. Have you ever been in a group message and somebody posts something or maybe needs something and you're like, well, is that for me? Like, do I, do I need to, you know, do I need to do that? But if I send you a direct message, if I send it straight into your inbox, right? Either email, direct message, uh, messenger, you know, whatever, WhatsApp message, whatever, it goes straight to you and it's straight from me and it says X, Y, and Z. Do you take ownership of that? You do, right? You do. You totally do. Okay. So the first question that will help you identify some common traits that your ideal prospects share they are more general in nature. Whereas the next section that we're going to go through will hone in on more specific and personal traits. And I want to teach you. So this is kind of like, we're going to go general, right? So general, and then we're going to get more specific. So you can get super specific on, on who you're pulling into your business and who you're talking to about your products. Now, if your goal right now is to grow customers, I would suggest you grab one product, right? That you want to build this um, avatar around. Okay. So one product, I wouldn't be like, you know, all gen generic health and wellness, or I wouldn't be all, um, you know, on a, you know, whatever product, maybe it's skincare, right? Like um, you've got the whole line and men's line and all the things, right? I would pick one product that makes sense. And I would, I would do that. Okay. So here's the questions. Number one, what are their biggest sources of pain? Okay. So that's number one. Number two, what are their biggest fears? Okay, now this is going to take some time. So it, like I said, and it's not that much fun. Okay, um, this is the stuff that's like all the nitty gritty stuff that has to be done before you actually go, like, go and build build your new audience of people. Okay, 
Um, these questions should typically apply to anyone who might be a prospect for your solutions, regardless of age, sex, marital status, et cetera. Okay. So what are their biggest sources of pain? What are their biggest fears? And then what are the common challenges do they face? What are their biggest desires? And then you want to know, right? And again, you can come back and, you know. Let me read these off again. And then we're going to talk about it because there's some nuance here, right? What are their biggest sources of pain? What are their biggest fears? What are common challenges they face? And what are their greatest desires or biggest desires? I want to make it clear that I think it is important when you own a business or especially like if you're a personal trainer, dietitian, and you specialize in something, it is important to figure out the kind of person that you want to train, the specific way that they work best in training. Like it's important for you to kind of figure out your customers, right? Who do you want to sell to? Who, who do you think will benefit most from this? I think that's important. So I think some of these questions are not terrible to ask when you are fitness stuff or dietitians. Like, like I get it. I get there's points that you go to that you have to think through when you're doing those things. But when it comes to someone who's in a multi-level marketing company, who is asking themselves, what is that person's greatest source of pain? What is that person's biggest fear? What are their biggest challenges? Something they face often. And what are their greatest desires? It is so that you can take control of those different things and manipulate in a way to get them to join you. You can hit each of those points and kind of sculpt your own idea of an MLM, present it to them in a way that makes them think it is something that it is not. This in no way is okay to do in this instance because you're going to use their pain points, as we've seen, to make them want to buy a product that likely won't do what you say it's going to do. We see that with medical claims. We see that with income claims comes the biggest fears, common challenges, biggest desires. What are their fears? Fear that they will never uh, amount to something or that they will never be able to put their children through college. Common challenges they face. Maybe they really struggle buying the groceries they need every week. Maybe they struggle with living paycheck to paycheck or their greatest desires. They want more money. They want more time. These are like really basic desires that a lot of people want because a lot of people struggle with this. And it is normal for someone in a multi-level marketing company to take these desires, these fears, these challenges and manipulate the person. That person is vulnerable, not weak, like no shame sales game wants you to think, but vulnerable. And when you know that, even without realizing it, you are taking advantage of them. And that is why it's not okay to do these things in MLMs. And again, you can come back and you know rewatch uh, re this, but you can also grab your avatar worksheet and work through these. There's actually some space for you to go through it, okay? But you might need to write on the back or get another sheet if you wanna get super detailed, which is what we want. What information are they already consuming? Books, magazines, um, et cetera, online stuff, those kind of things. So what are they already consuming? What products and services are they buying already to solve this problem? And what specific solutions might make their lives better? Now, I want you to make it, I want you to make it personal, okay? So remember uh, part one, your goal was to identify the most common problems, pains, and fears, and challenges your ideal prospect might be facing. Now we're going to get into closer whom, okay? So this we now have a flat picture of one person, and we're going to start building it in 3D. Okay, so what is their average age? What is their gender in the majority? Okay, it doesn't mean that you're like not going to prospect men at all anymore. Okay, this just means your message is going to be specific to one gender or the other. Okay, for now, it will attract other people, just so you know. What kind of career do they have? Okay, are they corporate, um, you know, blue collar? You know, what is it they're doing? What is their marital status? Do they have children? What kind of hobbies do they have? What other interests do they have? Okay, so now we're going to move into part three. Now, obviously, this is going to take you more time to fill out, right? But I don't want to keep you here while everybody fills that out. I want you to just know the concept and go do the homework. Okay, part three, your avatar rebuild. Now it's time to create a name, a face, a quick bio and story of your avatar. Okay, you should even consider having a picture made or using a photo of someone who represents your best ideal customer. Google images are great for this. Okay, you don't have to get like all up in the weeds about it. But this will allow you and your team to stay on message to ensure company decisions solutions and ability to present those solutions are completely relevant to your avatar. So remember when I said, have you ever listened to a live video, read an article, um, saw a post on social media, and you're like, holy cow, they're talking to me, right? Guess how they learned how to do that with this exact exercise, okay? 
So you're gonna write your bio. So there's some examples of uh, you know of your your like a business opportunity market in the worksheet. You can go through those. There's some examples of product uh, that you can go through as well. I'm just scrolling through this to make sure that I have all of the info that I needed to share. Okay, so all of those examples are in there. And then the, here's what I want you to do. So the next piece of this, so you're gonna fill out that avatar worksheet. If you don't have it, um, I'll actually post it in the description as well. So you can download it in case you don't have it or maybe you didn't get the email or you know whatever so that you have it. Um, it'll be in the description above this video. I'm also going to drop another video after this. So as soon as we are finished, there's gonna be another video drop that's going to dive more into the emotion, okay? Now I would suggest that you watch both videos first and then do the homework, okay? Your mission statement you can work on. It's not on the worksheet and it's it's uh, it's not in the next video. So just know that the mission statement and then go through your worksheet. Watch video number two so that you have that. It's a bonus video. And um, then I want you to build out your avatar, okay? Your avatar. And at the point when you know this is finished, the point when you know this is finished is when you have in your mind a complete 3D picture. Like when I look at you and you're standing right here next to me, you're not a piece of paper, right? You're not a piece of paper. You are a 3D image. And I know your pains. I know your wants. I know um, your struggles. I know your emotions. I know exactly what you're going through. And I know how to relate to you. You know their emotions? You know how to relate to them? What's so interesting is, like I said, nuance. There's nuance in these things. Like for me, my dietitian, I do have a dietitian. We're not focusing on weight loss. We're focusing on first, it was my metabolism, getting it back to what it should be, kind of how that works and so on and so forth, right? And she has a specific way she does things. She specifically says, if this isn't for you, like in our opening call, that's under, that's totally fine. This is what I do. This is how it's done. And it's not for you. That's okay. But with an MLM, it's not that way. It's not, this is how I do. This is how it's done. And um, this is the kind of person I'm looking for. And if it's not you, then that's, that's fine. It's not that way. It is, how can I manipulate all of this stuff into it looking like it's for you? That is not okay. That's not okay. You can disagree with me below, but I just don't think that's okay. And I know exactly what kind of value, which you're going to learn how to do in the next um, in the next video so that you have all of that. Not my bonus video, but the next video that Fran and um, Adrian are doing for you with your homework there. So here's the thing. Like I said at the beginning of this, this isn't the fun, like, you know, rah, rah, make sales and get team members, right? And you, you rank advance. This is the work that has to be done before any of that can happen. And if you've ever been in a place where you're like, I'm talking to all the people, right? Like I am doing the do, I am busting my butt. I'm doing everything that everybody's telling me to do. And I'm not getting the results. I want you to always come back to this piece and understand that you're probably not connecting to those people on an emotional level. And that's the reason that you're not, you know, moving forward. Now, obviously, is that the reason they're not moving forward, Brandy? I had to look at her name. Or is it because that the majority of people in MLMs won't, can't, will never move forward because that's how the MLM business structure works. She is saying it, it falls back on you. Go through this again. You're just not connecting with them emotionally. From In my opinion, what I'm hearing is she's saying, you're just not that good at manipulating. You got to learn how to manipulate. Do you hear that? Am I, am I losing it? That's what I'm hearing. <laughs> Let me know your thoughts below. Obviously, it's not just, you know, an exact science and you, you do your, your mojo and then all of a sudden I'm enrolling, right? People take time and it's relationships, but this will speed it up. This is the fire that will totally blow up your business. Okay. Just trust me. Okay. Just trust me because I was the one that was doing all the do. I didn't understand this. Now, remember, this is a huge thing right here. Number one, you have a prospect, a perfect prospect for your business, for your coaching, for your services. And then you have perfect prospects that are for product, specific product, right? Like I have many products, many products that, that I have in my company. This product is different than this product. And the people that are pains, wants, and desires are different for those two products. They're similar, but they're different. And you can't skip this work. So every product, we have skincare in our, in our company. Every, every product has their own um, avatar built for it. Okay. Every one of them. And it could be totally different, right? If you have a men's line, then you're going to have a, a men's avatar for that product. Okay. Just trust me, do the work. Okay. Now that you've figured out who your person is, you got to figure out where they hang out. Okay. So I'm going to give you some ideas on how to start building this new pool of people that are going to want to buy your products and join your team. All right. So first off, any social media platform that you want to go to and check this out, the easiest, fastest way that we teach our teams and that is the most effective 
is going into Facebook um, pages or groups. So think of gurus, um, you know, depending on your industry, right? We don't just have network marketers here, but we have entrepreneurs. So think about your industry. Who do they follow? Um, for instance, like financial people, some of them follow, um, uh, what's her bucket? Gorman, I think is her name, or um, I can see his, I can see his face, but David, uh, crap, what's his name? You know who I mean, the, the gurus, right? So but for instance, I'm going to, I'm going to show you uh, for network marketers, all right? But if you're in a different industry, just figure out who the gurus are that most people follow. I cannot wait for her to show you who the guru is. Oh, <laughs> don't forget. I have watched this one time through very quickly. I'll add, but just buckle up. Oi. And that's how, where you're going to start building this new audience. Okay. So I'm going to share my screen and we are going to go into, let's see here. So share my screen and we're going to go into Facebook. Okay. So let me know if you can see that. Now, what you want to do is you want to go and search um, like pages, okay. Or groups. And Eric Worre is a huge one, right? He has a huge audience of network marketers. So network marketing pro. Eric Mori is one that I would start with if you're a network marketer. Now, what you're doing here is you are trying to grow an audience of your perfect prospects. Okay. So we are going to specifically talk about your, um, like for your business. Okay. You want to recruit somebody that's familiar with network marketers. They literally want you to go into multi-level marketing groups and prospect other MLMers. Girl, what? <laughs> it's that time. Ready? It's the Shut Your Mouth Award! Because, Randy, you need to shut your mouth. And, and it's about to get even better. Wait for it. Why do we want to recruit network marketers? Well, number one, we don't have to convince them that network marketing is the thing, right? We just have to convince them, or not convince them, but show them that by working with us, they can get what they want. Okay, now, there's lots of people that this is going to blow up in their brain, and they're going to be like, you're basically just telling us to go coach other people. No, I'm not, Okay. You can't poach anybody that is happy where they are, okay? What I'm telling you is to build relationships with other people that are already network marketers. And naturally, as you provide value, as you grow in your skill sets, as you continue to do what you're doing, you're going to have people that are going to want to join you in your business. How do I? No, no, you're literally just saying what you said that they say that you don't do. Did that make sense to y'all, what I just said? Uh, whatever. What she just said is what I just said a second ago about her prospecting other MLMers. That's what she said just now, even though she's like, that's not what I do. Literally, Brandy, that's what you do. I know this because this is what's happened to me. Okay. Now, when I started, I didn't have a following, right? I was brand new. I didn't even know how to copy and paste. And I started building value on uh, social media and started understanding things and then teaching other people. And the best way I know how to share this with you. Okay. Because right now, if you're brand new, Probably the chances of you recruiting a seven-figure earner into your business are slim to none, right? I mean, I'm just going to be... Up yeah, because there's barely any seven-figure earners anywhere ever. <laughs> and the seven-figure earners that there are are already other coaches like you. Up front with it. It's that way for everyone, not just you. Okay? As your skill sets grow and you know more from those people, as you understand more and as you, uh, you know, create systems and things that are working for you and you share a ton of value, it builds the know, like, and trust. And if you can do that in a pool of people that are already network marketers, you are going to find that more and more people are going to want to join you. Okay. So, and I couldn't even copy and paste. So if I can do that, I'm only, um, I think I started my journey in uh, 2016. So, you know, in however many years that is to now. Journey, their journey, their journey, a journey. Listen, somebody the other day was like, commented and was like, I cannot handle how they keep saying it's their journey. I hear that and I feel it now. Like since that comment was made on a video of mine and I read it, I was like, huh, interesting. And now I'm, I just cringe so hard at what she just said about her journey. Oh, I built a multi two multiple seven figure businesses actually and um, created a massive team. Um, I'm the one of the, the top teams in the US right now in my company, right? Um, second rate from the top in my company. And I never thought that this would be uh, how we do things, but I'm glad that I learned how and glad that I started doing it. So here's what you're going to do. You're going to go to the gurus, right? Uh, Network Marketing Pro, Doc, uh, Eric Worre. You can go to Sarah Robbins. You can go to any of the gurus in your industry. Remember I said in your industry, obviously, if you are coaching um, other people, not network marketers, this wouldn't be a fit for you, right? If you are a real estate agent, um, you know, where do those people hang out? Okay. You're going to go to groups and you're going to become a professional friend maker. You're not going to come in here and post on Eric Worre's post join my team. Here's my link, right? That's not what we're doing. But what I want to show you is there's other people that you can come in here and look and, you know, comment, build relationships, 
and naturally friend people, right? So watch this video. Okay, come in here, watch the video. Be like, all right, now you want to make sure you're in here for a purpose. We're not just in here to squirrel around, okay? We're in here to build relationships on purpose, intentionally focused inside of social media. So when you get in here, you're going to go, you know, Jan Baxter, right? Um, obviously, uh, you know, Eric Worre, uh, you know, talked back to her. He was he was doing a live, oh, a 90-day run live with Eric Worre. Okay, so, you know, this Jan, you might want to go in here and be like, all right, Jan, let's check you out, right? All right, so, you know, Jan might be somebody that I want to work with. Let's check her out. She's got 708 friends, one mutual. That's important. You don't want to friend somebody that's already friends with everybody in your team, okay? So you've got one mutual. Um, you know, you're going to check her out. You're like, is she normal? Okay, is she somebody I want to work with? Is she open in a country that I actually, um, you know, can recruit her? So you're going to go to her about. You're going to kind of check her out. She's, she's in Ontario. Okay, cool. She looks professional, right? Look at her beautiful face. Um, she, she has uh, some nice stuff. Whoops. That wasn't what I wanted to do. Let me go back to that. Um, you want to use rules. So create the rules and you're going to start having a conversation. Okay. So I just changed my photo. I went out snow streaming today. So it's gorgeous day to get outdoors and fresh air. So you're going to learn more about what to do on getting noticed. But right now I want you to just friend Jan Baxter. Okay. Now I poor Jan, she didn't sign up for this. Well, I mean, I guess she ultimately did, but not in the way. Whatever. I'm not going to analyze it too much. This is the secret. <laughs> I don't want you to go out and friend 400 people today. Okay. Keep it under 10 to 15 a day of new friends. But what you want to do is start build a new audience of people that are network marketers. Now, obviously she's a network marketer or she wouldn't be following Eric Worre. Okay. Like it's pretty self-explanatory, right? The other way that you can do it, if you just don't want to straight up friend them is you can come in here, watch the video and like, you know, like comment, be like, oh, that was awesome, right? I loved this. Okay, now you become a professional friend maker. That's what you're going to do. You're going to engage with people here inside of this and build a new audience. PFM, professional friend maker. <laughs> get it tatted. Let's get it tatted on my knuckles. PFM. Um, you know, of, of people. But as you get noticed in here, so let me show you uh, Sarah Robbins. Networking. Now there's a bunch, right? Don't just, you know, don't just follow what I follow or, you know, what I'm showing you. There's a bunch, do your research, figure it out, right? Do some, do some stuff that you want to do, but here, uh, she's got 294,000 followers, right? So you can kind of like, just do the same thing, right? Get in here, see what kind of comments she has, check out the people. Now here's the thing about the algorithms. Okay. Because I'm going to tell you a little secret. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. I'm going to share my screen now that you know how to do it. Um, that, that you can train the algorithm on who you actually want in your newsfeed. And if you need to grow an audience of your perfect prospects, what a great way to train uh, social media on who you're actually looking for. So make sure you use the rules. Is this person normal? Do they have a profile picture? Do, is it somebody I want to work with? Right. Or are they, do they fit into my perfect prospect bucket? Is this person normal? <laughs> Imagine saying, is this person normal? Brandy, what's normal? <laughs> what's normal? Now you won't know every person that, you know, actually comes into your world if they are or are not your exact perfect prospect, but you're building an audience of people that are more likely than just, you know, your neighbor down the street or, you know, some Joe Schmo that, you know, you've been friends with on Facebook, you have no, or social media and you have no idea where that, where you even know them or if they are a network marketer, right? So use the rules, start building a new audience. And what will happen if you start doing this consistently on a daily basis, getting into the groups, friending two, three, 10. Remember, don't friend more than 15 people. You will get um, flagged by whatever social media platform that you're using. Keep it under 20. If you are one of those that's like, oh, she told me to do 10, I'm gonna do 100. Keep it under 20, okay? Keep it under 20. Stay within the guidelines of the policies and procedures of the social media platform you're on. But Because they know what you're doing. They know what you're trying to do. Once you um, do this for two, three, uh, I think the most it's ever taken my one of my team members is three weeks to train the algorithm. Then they'll start putting your um, your face and your content and your things in front of the right people, and it will be easier for you. So at first, getting going is a little bit kind of like rolling a rock up a hill. But once you get the algorithm trained on who you're looking for, then it gets way, way easier. OK, so start building those audiences. Again, stick to the under 20 rule on social media and uh, make sure you check out all three videos that go with this uh, this piece. And we'll see you in day number two. Thanks. Well, that's that. Day number one, step number one, what'd you think? <sighs> um, pains, wants, desires, values, beliefs, fears.
tap into the emotions. I mean, this is not anything secretive, by the way. Uh, I think she's just saying some of the quiet parts out loud a little bit more, uh, but this is nothing special. I've seen better trainings on how to do this than what she's doing right here. This is not even worth my $13. <laughs> I want to hear what you have to say below. I want to know your thoughts. Do you like this? Do you want me to do step two? Do you want this to be kind of like a series that we do? It's not like a bunch of videos. It's just like four or so. But I want to hear your thoughts. Let me know what you think. Go ahead and like the video. Please subscribe if this is a video you enjoyed or if you've watched more than one of my videos. Just because I know I have a chunk of people who aren't subscribed that do watch my videos often. Visit my Liquid IV link if you want. Maybe we'll do the bonus video on a live or maybe we'll, maybe I'll add it in this video. Who knows? Probably not though. Maybe we'll do it on a live. Thanks for watching. I hope you have an amazing day or night or wherever you are. I'll see you next time. Bye.